Hello there, um, I'm Mr. Saim Mishuk Tarek. So uh, today we'll discuss chapter 6. This is from your Information Communication Technology book by Graham Brown and David Watson. Uh, basically, chapter 6 is quite a general chapter. Um, you, you'll find these topics uh, in chapter 2, 3, and 4 as well. But uh, since there was some students who were saying that we should discuss this, I am discussing this for my international students and my students here in Pakistan as well. Uh, well, the communication applications that we will be discussing over here are flyers, websites, how can ICT help us to communicate? Flyers, posters, brochures, and newsletters, what they are, how they are produced. Well, you can use word processor or desktop publishing software, okay, DTP softwares, to create these. You need to tell the procedure, how can you make it, or you can open up Word, uh, create frames, take photos, upload these, uh, place them in particular places, save the photos to a file, import, copy, and paste them, edit the photos if you want to edit them, and enter the required text. So uh, you just need to tell how uh, a poster can be created. So uh, you should know the brochures are um, they look like this. They can be printed through an inkjet printer or through a professional printing press. Uh, your flyers are basically three-folded. They look like this. And then you have posters which are much larger in size and they can be displayed at different places. So uh, you, this is what they have discussed over here. Yeah. Websites, on the other hand, is a very good way of communication and it's it's not very expensive. Uh, yes, initial development of website is expensive, but maintenance is not expensive. It does not take time for you to edit information. You can add a lot of information on a website. Yes, you can have lots of attacks, virus attacks on, on websites. That could be a problem. So you need to compare and contrast websites with other methods of communication. Advantages, obviously, sound, um, hit counters, uh, hyperlinks can be added to it, and it's easy to update it. Disadvantage, obviously, I just talked about hacker viruses could be there. It's not portable. It's soft copy. You need a device to view it. Okay. Then you have multimedia presentations. Multimedia presentations can be displayed on roadsides, inside inside halls, inside different places. Um, okay. Uh, use of sound is 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 placed. Oh, animations are placed. It is possible to have hyperlinks in it. Uh, transitions are, are there. So it's a very effective way to uh, communicate. Uh, equipment failure could be a problem. Um, the entire presentation might go down. You, you need special softwares and hardware for that. Okay, paper-based presentations. Uh, generally, we're just talking about uh, how do you compare paper-based presentations with soft copy. Uh, talk about blind people, people with disabilities, eyesight problem. Uh, this is what they're comparing and contrasting. Music scores, basically, you know the music scores, the patterns that you have. Now, you have softwares that can actually read the music scores directly. Okay, so um, these music scores uh, can be read by softwares. Uh, they can be written into the system and they can be combined with different um, uh, songs as well. So this is what they've discussed, what music scores actually are. For creating cartoons, you will be using 3D animation softwares. Uh, 3D animation softwares are used uh, in which different parts of uh, that particular object that you're making, a man or car, whatever, are, are, are drawn individually and they are basically integrated to form one final object okay the process through which you add frames and you make the uh, the animation uh, moving is known as twinning or morphing okay we'll talk about mobile phones in mobile phones we need to talk about this that I, in mobile phones or cell phone technology why do we call it a cellular technology because in your cell technology you have different cells for example if this cell uh, is not working you can communicate through these cells or you can communicate through these cells but let's say when this cell and this cell is not working you can communicate through these cells so you have cells and the distance between these cells is in kilometers okay uh, you have micro cells you have macro cells so uh, micro cells have a distance a range of about 20 kilometers okay so uh, that's why the, the, the terminology as a cell came in when we talk about uh, cellular phones, right? Okay. So uh, what you can do, obviously, we, uh, we're talking about uh, text messages and uh, other things that can be done. Internet telephony, we're talking about wipe video, uh, <coughs> voice over internet protocol, um, how we can use... Uh, 
uh, Skype and other things to which we can transfer our, our, our voices sounds in an expensive way uh, for, for communication okay you have to take care of other things such as good ba bandwidth speed good internet speed you have to make sure you have an anti-echo room in which you don't have a lot of echo otherwise your sound will not be transferred you need a microphone for that you need headphones for that so stuff like that business cards not discussing in detail okay um, hand handle applications we will be talking about surveys surveys obviously when you take a survey you have to create surveys uh, through radio buttons or check boxes okay so, so that OMR or OCR can read them address lists will be created uh, for colleagues for family friends they, they, you have lots of application nowadays that can store your address lists club and society records uh, for this you can use any uh, typical database in order to store that uh, keeping records again we are talking about over here is basically how we can save our records for this we can use uh, for any particular database for that okay uh, instead of keeping ledgers or registers a computerized database system will take much more or less space okay and you can easily you'll be able to find details uh, about any any book school reports again if we, if we computerize them if you're talking about ICT computer computer can play a vital role in producing school reports like the one on the right hand side the fire academy it, in which every information is displayed very properly and every report uh, design is the same all has to change is the fields that are coming for individual student so obviously a lot of advantage um, measuring applications basically we mean is measurement applications how can we use um, different controls such as control systems to to measure okay for this we need uh, ADC converters and sensors sensors can take the data from the environment and they, they can measure for example temperature we can measure the temperature we can measure the pressure we can measure the humidity we can measure the oxygen level so we're talking about different measuring applications that are used to basically use they are used in various applications weather scientific uh, for pollution and all that weather stations will be using your uh, measuring uh, rainfall temperature wind speed wind direction humidity so you have all these sensors for this for rainfall you will have is the humidity sensor for that wind speed sensor so all these sensors will be available over there uh, your your control and monitoring monitoring uh, systems will be used in measuring a patient's vital signs in a hospital um, very typically used to to measure the, the oxygen level or if you want to measure the blood pressure you will use the definitely a different monitoring systems in that case an alarm is activated if it goes about uh, above, <clears throat> above the acceptable range uh, there, there are two values that we talk about over here one is the preset value and one is the actual value a preset value basically means the value that you will set and okay sorry the actual value is the value that you set and the preset value is the value that will change so if you set a value let's say 100 and if it goes beyond 100 it will set it will trigger an alarm telling you that it has crossed the limit sensors take the data from the environment and tells that uh, whether the actual data in the environment has crossed the, um, the the actual value okay so you have one value is changed and one value is not changed preset value and actual value uh, for example in, in your air condition system you have two values preset value and actual value your room right now is at 25 degrees celsius but you want it to come down to 18 degrees celsius okay so your actual value is 25 and your preset value is 18 so your condenser will keep on working to make the temperature come down so uh, there are lots of various there are lots of examples for this measuring pollution in rivers we can talk about this so we can have different uh, sensors placed and then the river to see the oxygen level the acidity level the ph level and we can keep on saving it in our computer system they can be used in many many other places obviously the advantage is no human supervision law is necessary they can take readings again and again so these are the advantages oh, okay right it's safer you can produce graphs automatically okay <coughs> um, computer uh, disadvantage computer unable to take un un usual circumstances it could be expensive to set it up you need a professional person to set it up if there is equipment failure that is a disadvantage as well microphone controlled 
<coughs> application. So I just talked about control. The difference between control application and measuring is in control you uh, you you simply control. You don't save it. In measuring, you take the data from the environment and you save it, such as um, your weather forecast. You take the data from the environment and you save it in a database. But in control, you just take the data from the environment and and if the, the actual value is different from the preset value, you'll do something. You'll have an actuator, uh, a motor turning on, buzzer turning on. So control systems are only different with measuring applications in this way, that measuring applications have a database involved where data is stored and that can be analyzed through graphs. But control applications do not have any sort of database involved. They simply directly take an action if something has to be done. Okay, uh, these are the following examples in your um, control. So automatic oven, you have been doing this for a long time, discussion, central heating system, okay. Uh, how do we have a central heating system? You have is a boiler that boils uh, liquid or even water and this goes through pipelines and then you have an actual value and preset value. The pump basically pumps through the pipes and to presents to take the temperature. So it will um, keep on working through this way. Boiler, you a digital to analog converter, water pump, microprocessor tells you when to pump or not. You enter the data from here. Sensor takes the data from here. So uh, this is how it basically works. The boiler will have uh, boil liquid into it that goes through pipelines. It will only go through pipeline if uh, your microprocessor gives a signal for it to do so. How will the microprocessor do it? Microprocessor will take the data from the sensor. Okay, so water pump is an actuator that physically does something. Okay, right. Um, chemical processes again, you can have lots of other examples. You can have chemical processes as well, um, where you need to control different things. Greenhouse were one of the very good examples. In greenhouse, you have the lots of things, there are lots of examples, that's what they are. You can, in a greenhouse, maybe you want is to control the entire greenhouse and without any human supervision. So from humidity for sprinkling water, from pH sensor in the soil, from temperature sensor, temperature will be, how will it be controlled by opening up the exhaust fans, okay? Uh, for the light, you will use lights, and you have a light sensor, okay? Uh, so for humidity, you will have humidity sensor, and you will have sprinkling water, these, okay? Making it acid, alkaline, pH sensor, windows open. So uh, that's how, basically, this entire thing works. Okay, uh, these are all the sensors that you have. What do they do? Temperature, moisture, light, and all that, okay? Why sensors are annoyed? Obviously, you know, the turtle graphic is not much in the syllabus, but it's something very easy. You should know it. Uh, they're just few commands. Just you should have an idea that's very easy, although it will not come right. And that's it. And repeat. For example, you, your turtle, this turtle is always placed on the uh, towards the top. So it's always facing towards the top. So if you want to turn left, you will say is right 90. I'll just explain over here. For example, what I'll do is, if I want to make the shape, what I'll say is, um right 90 90 degrees okay i'm sorry in this case it will be left i'm turning left left 90 and let's say this is let's say this is 20 centimeters so i will say is i, I can i can write for word or 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 this side this will be right 90 degrees then for word um 20 then right 90 forward 
20 so this way you will be you will keep on making this particular shape okay and then I will if I want to come here again I will say is right 90 so my cursor is over here it's pointing down so I will now have and I have to turn this way I have to turn this way so I will say over here is left 90 now my cursor is is towards this way okay so I, I don't want a line here so what I'll say is pen up okay and I will say is forward how much is this this is 20 for 20 so pen up means my pen is up obviously I'm not writing on the piece of paper uh, when I go forward 20 then I will say is pen down and then I will say is um, left 90 and then again the same thing okay so this is the entire process uh, so there are just few commands pretty easy this is usually done in, in junior school middle school and let's say you want to make a square uh, the, there is a very good command that you should also be aware of uh, I can use repeat command and I can say if I repeat four times uh, just listen to this you will get it if I write uh, RT or hmm, right 90 space forward 20 if I repeat this four times will I not get a square I will get a square so you can even use a repeat command for this okay um, just have a look at it I have told you um, CI is we don't know they have taken things out of the syllabus and then times they do, do give it so just have a look at it although I'm telling you it's not in the syllabus anymore just be ready for it okay modeling applications you know what computer models are uh, you can make 3d models of cars buildings and all that there it's much more a safer way uh, to basically uh, make a model than real constructing a dam uh, or a bridge or, or a model of a car so that's why computer models are actually created why do we call spreadsheets uh, mathematical models because spreadsheets what they do is they what they do is uh, if we apply formula function in different cells it can tell you what effects will they have somewhere else if we use referencing so computer models spreadsheets can help us to predict what might happen if we change values in one cell and the other cell that's how we also call them models traffic like simulation can help help us to uh, see how traffic will be controlled at peak hours or other other situations okay and and then we have is how computer okay So in case of a traffic computer model, we can actually um, take the data from the sensors and we can use the lights to basically tell for how much long should the lights be on if the number of cars in a junction are between 10 and 20, we should give 10 seconds. If it's between 50 and 100, we should give, probably give 2 minutes and so on and so so. Okay, that's how computer models basically are controlled. So how are they controlled? They are controlled through a control box, which is basically microprocessor. Again, the same thing. Microprocessor will be controlling it. Uh, robotics, I'm not discussing this in detail. I've been doing it for a long time. It's discussed in the previous chapters as well. Uh, school management system, well, again, it's a uh, repetition. There's a lot of repetition over here, actually, in the chapter. Uh, school registration systems basically includes what you can have the students data in a barcode in a card as well okay and uh, once you swipe it it will uh, basically compare the data from a database and it will tell you uh, about that particular student uh, details okay uh, th th there are lots of advantages and disadvantages to this and then you have basically his fingerprint we can use biometrics as well okay so you can compare biometric fingerprints with ID card that's, uh, that's what they've discussed over here okay uh, you can use uh, ICT for exam timetables you have softwares that can help you to make timetables okay you uh, there were which teachers available which subject is going on number of hours of each subject okay 
booking system for theater cinema or online airline booking systems um ICT is used extensively to basically see which seatings do you need when do you have to go what what details have to be entered okay so online all this can be done okay this is flight booking system as well when you're leaving from where how many people are going okay it's quite a general thing okay banking applications we talk about atms quite general internet banking well very 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 uh, common discussion again online shopping online banking advantages disadvantages people don't have to leave uh, and uh, fuel expenses are saved go uh, very uh, much advantage for the disabled people so and so so okay the, the reason why i i'm basically going so fast and skipping all this is because you have actually discussed all this again as well it's a quite common discussion okay usually students tell me not to discuss it uh, this is why i telephone banking you might be know, knowing about it that you have to call someone and they'll ask you to press one to do this press two to do press three to do this and you keep on waiting and then they'll tell you where you have to talk a chip and pin is mostly used in many, many cards it's used in royalty cards as well it's used in debit cards uh, chip store more data than your magnetic strip um, it, 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 it uh, transfers the data much more faster as compared to magnetic strip okay and you have to enter a pin for that as well okay so it's mostly using electronic funds transfer and point of sale terminal okay clearing of checks we are talking about your magnetic incorrect reader okay uh, all this, this this that you see is basically your containing ground number sort code and check number which is printed through a magnetic ink which micr can actually read it through okay electronic funds transfer basically is what that whenever you uh, transfer whenever you purchase something uh, first of all when you swipe the credit card it will first of all check do you have the balance and if you have the balance available then that particular amount of product that you purchased will be deducted from your account and a message will be sent to you and if the amount is not available right away the, the transaction will be declined and you cannot proceed further okay expert systems um, basically are systems that are obviously expert that hold uh, experts knowledge medical uh, diagnose okay um, uh, prospecting oil okay for example you you <clears throat> you can use lots of expert systems online as well um, if you don't want to visit doctor you can use an online expert system you can pay on cre credit card for it you'll just type in the questions and the computer will give you the answers these expert systems have been developed by expert people and has been developed over a period of time it takes months it takes years to develop one for every field that you can talk about you have an expert system you have an in medical you have in oil prospecting you have in car for diagnose you have animal and plant identification so expert systems are basically in a lot of way tax and financial calculations they are used in many ways how is it set up obviously first of all you have to do is an expert system you have to first of all uh, get the knowledge from the experts data is collected a knowledge base is created uh, knowledge base is your database okay uh, then you have is basically your input screen okay so it, it's this way that you have over here is your database then you have is your inference engine and then you have is the what you call is the front end where you uh, enter the data okay so inference engine basically does what whenever you uh, enter a question the inference engine will try to get that question from the database for example in google if you type let's say lgs it will try to find you lgs appearing in all the websites so um, your <coughs> inference engine contains consists of different interrogation techniques through which you can find out that particular data and this is how your search engines all also work well there are advantages obviously lots of advantages of expert system but there are also disadvantages that expert systems need to be updated they could lack some decision making they are uh, computers they don't have human feelings 
um, there could be some new um, thing coming up which your expert system does not have they cannot make decisions uh, final decisions so yeah there could be disadvantages of expert system as well okay using an oil prospecting example okay this just go through the example okay that you have usually you don't have a question of this type uh, use the question will basically be about um, the advantages and disadvantages of expert systems uh, computers in, in um, medicine will basically you again have the same thing you'll have a database to store what information of the patient okay monitoring patients you will have again the monitoring system to monitor the, the I, like i said again a lot of repetition in this chapter a lot of repetition okay so we're talking about monitoring systems again using explore system we can use explore system to basically diagnose patient you have to enter the details what what problem you might have uh, the expert center will keep on asking questions and giving you the answers to it and to try to find out the most probability solution to it probable solution to it and will suggest you with different remedies and it will explain also you what needs to be done and all this will be displayed on the output screen that you have over here or it can even give you a printout of that okay 3d printing in medicines um, ct or mri is used now uh, 3d printers are also used to basically uh, for prosthetics pro 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 and uh, you have tissue engineering through which you can basically uh, 3D print uh, different uh, skin tissues, bone tissues and stuff like that. Uh, design of medical tools and equipment, computers in library, again we're talking about database, okay, in what information do we have in uh, library, about book details, borrow details, uh, this could be done through barcode or a card system. Computers in retail industry, we are talking about automatic stock control system. Okay, how computers work. And if you go to uh, McDonald's, if they they are they are left over with uh, just few items, you automatically um, stock will be delivered to them because they have something known as a reorder level. Okay, so automatic stock control basically works through the reorder level. Okay. Internet shopping. Again, e-commerce is there again. Automatic number plate tracking system, obviously. Um, it's also implemented in horror now, right now. Okay, so it's sensor detect the cars if it's, if it's crossing a particular boundary uh, limit. It will take the, the the sensors will will trigger the camera and the camera will basically um, uh, take a snapshot of that. Okay, right. So what they're talking about is over here is the an algorithm is used to locate and isolate the number plate from the image. The brightness and contrast is adjusted. Uh, each character is recognized through the OCR and then this is stored in the database so that there is no mistake while doing this. Monitoring and tracking systems that can be used. RFID radio frequency identification can be used to, they're used in shopping malls and on garments as well. They can be used to track animals as well. They're used to, uh, they're also used in many passports nowadays as well in, in the European Union. Um, cookies is a terminology that is used, well, not related, key logging, we can leave this part uh, for, for now. Satellite systems, uh, GPS system, uh, there are three satellites used to track uh, one particular object car. Um, they can tell uh, where that particular car is located. Why three? Because through three you can tell the exact position of that vehicle. So you have satellites that can uh, tell you the location of the vehicle because the vehicle will have over there is uh, a receipt is a recipient uh, responder and it will take the data from the satellite's transponder okay advantages disadvantages obviously they're quite generic uh, <clears throat> no need to manually look at the paper maps and removes the errors tells you the real time away how much time it might take uh, out of date could be a problem loss of satellite signal because of clouds and all that could be a problem okay
media communication system is basically diff it, it's the same thing uh, you have satellites but in this case uh, the, the, it's only why do we need it because we, we upload the data to a satellite and through satellite we can send it to the other satellite why obviously uh, we cannot transfer the data directly from here to here because terrestrial you in terrestrial you'll have high mountains and stuff like that so you have to send the data somewhere up over here and then you can send it wherever you want to so uh, the, you will be transferring video files in this case that's why we call it media basically right so this was your chapter six that we have okay uh, go through this again yourself um, nothing is much complicated in chapter uh, six chapter seven yes it's a bit different it's a bit more technical i agree but chapter six is quite generic chapter right um, wish you all the best all of you okay if you still have any question queries let me know